Hello everyone, welcome to the orbit of the coding. So today I am going to explain what is run use and next method in sp.net core. So let's flip to the Visual Studio and I will create a sp.net core application from scratch and I will show you what is the use of run use and next method. So I have already opened the Visual Studio, then I am going to create a new project. So you can select that, uh, create new project. After that here, you need to select sp.net core web application and click next. Then you can put the name of the project. So I am going to explain middleware sp.net core create the application so here you have two options the select empty or web applications api but i am going to select the empty application as of now so i just click on create select empty and click on create it will take few seconds to create the project Here we go. Bit more second it will take. So we can wait. Oh yeah. So, so here you can see the by default uh, some uh, applications are created midware sp.net course. So we have program.css and startup.css. I create a empty so we don't have much by default pages over there so I am going to startup.css .cs right so before going to startup.css I will just have a look on program.cs so program.cs contain the main method so this is the entry point of the sp.net core application so in, in the interview you usually ask what is the entry point of the uh, .NET Core application? So you can see, say that program.css contain a main method. This is the entry point of the sp.NET Core application. Now I am going to startup.c.js class. Here you can see that I have a one method, configure method, right? So configure method here used to maintain or or we can say that that provide the mechanism to handle all the request pipeline we have a different middleware over there right so all the middleware uh, if we get the http request to the first middleware so all the incoming and outgoing requests should be handled through the configure method and that mechanism handled through i application builder right so usually uh, uh, we have asked the many question what is i applications builder so i application builder is an object to object uh, and this is a mechanism to handle uh, request pipelines so here we can say that one line answer is maintain the uh, request pipeline right and now you can see that by default app dot run extension method is created why we call app.run extension method so once we go to the definition here you can see that uh, in the arrow uh, symbol is created once we over the run method so this symbol is called extension method and uh, once we go to the, uh, the definitions here you can see that so run method is an extension method of i application builder right so extension method is the static uh, class of a static method where this modifier apply to the first parameter and it extends the particular methods so run is extended method of the i application builder right so you can uh, uh, you can uh, like recall the particular things so once we ask 
any questions or if you have any more clarification about this so uh, you need to know the run is extension method and it use uh, first parameter that is request delegate handler right so i'm going to the startup.css .cs and here you can see that so run method is uh, basically uh, run extension method is basically used uh, to terminate the middleware terminate the middleware means it like if we use uh, run ma run middleware by like run extension method then it's not going to the next middleware it's supposed to terminate the middleware as of now and it's going to know to perform the next request pipeline so we have a multiple request pipeline so if we use app.run then it's not going to the next uh, pipeline net it's not going to the next request pipeline right so i am just uh, going to see you just i'm going to execute that particular method and let's see what happening It will take few seconds. You need to wait over here. So it's a potentially secure risk ahead. So I'm going to the advance, accept the risk, and it's continue. Here you can see that it's hello world. Uh, it is printed, right? So I now I am going to create a next run method. Just copy the things and paste it over here. And hello met hello world two. Right. So now we have two middleware. Middleware one and middleware two. And once we execute the particular request, then here you can see the result. So by by default, uh, like one run method, one middleware is executed in our .NET app core application is by default. Either we can use use run any one uh, middleware is executed by default. So now here I, uh, I can use a two middleware using run extension method, middleware one, middleware two. And now I'm going to see the expected result over here. So here you can see the result. It's taking few seconds. Yeah, here you can see that only hello word is printed and it's not all the next middleware because once a run extension method is executed it's terminate the request pipeline and it's not going to the next middleware right so how to call the next middleware in our applications so if we use run then it's terminate the request pipeline how can we uh, call the next request pipeline so if we need to call the next request pipeline then you we can use app dot use right so i just call test and we can use app dot use so app dot use is also a extension method and it contain uh, two parameters so i need to pass uh, one next parameters here you can see that right and i just hello world use and now i am going to uh, print uh, execute on the application let's see the result so use app dot use is basically once uh, if once we use app dot use then it's uh, uh, call the next request pipeline right so so here you can see it's print only app hello world use and it's not going to print the hello world app dot run method 
so you need to if you need to call a next request pipeline then you need to use await next so it's a push to the next request pipeline it's automatically pushed to the next request pipeline right so here you can see that so app dot hello world should be print and then it execute to the next request pipeline here you can see the result so now you can see hello at use and hello at to uh, mid layer uh, each uh, printed as of now uh, if if we use uh, some more significant output use over here so it's next all right so now i'm going to use next use use to right and i'm not going to i just comment the await dot next then let's see the result it will take few seconds so here you can see that so it print hello word and hello word used to but it will not going to call uh, next middleware so slash and i will try to add a, a space uh, add new line over here but this new line is not working as well so we can skip as of now so once we use await dot next then it call the three middleware here you can see that hello use use two and hello now it's called the three middleware we can, we can use use and await dot next await dot next and that if we lastly call app dot run and once app dot run is called and it's uh, accidentally terminate the re request pipeline and it's not going to the next request so once we are more explained about pictorial diagram here you can see that so middleware one middleware two middleware three i can get the request it's modify the request and if we go to the next so it's going to the next middleware also it modify the some request and it's going to the next middleware and after that it responds back to the requesters so this is the whole uh, scenario of the middleware and we can perform or we can achieve through run use and next method right so middleware is basically a component of class and it's handling incoming and outgoing request right and if i use to summarize all the applications so app dot run is terminate the request and if we use app dot use then it's going to the next request and if we use app await dot next it's call to the next request pipeline so this is the summary of that uh, dot net core uh, app use and next extension methods so if you have any query also uh, like uh, similarly uh, use is extension method uh, use is also an extension method but it, it accept two parameter and run is also extension method so both uh, two are extension method and and extension method uh, are i applications builder that handle the uh, mechanism of request pipeline so that's it on this video and if you have any query then please put on the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you